up every day Know that I don't dress, yeah Counting on my cake Getting all them checks, yeah Pull up in a way I'm just trying to flex, yeah Why you wanna have So if you wanted it to compare it to a real one You know, they're pretty similar of Get a little bit of that face action I think you need to be all up on me like Some of that face action <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do the intro like this all right, so today what we're going to be showing you guys is how to make a homemade fidget spinner with no bearings, not 3D printer version, right? Yeah, last time y'all got kind of mad at us because we had to have a 3D printer. Y'all started baking our accents and stuff, bro. That's not cool. So this time, we're going to do it without a 3D printer. Without a 3D printer, with a better quality camera, it's, it's going to be a good video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And share this video with all your friends to help us out. I know y'all enjoy our car content. And our accents. And our accents, Come apparently. Me. Just share this video so that we can keep creating content with you guys. Go tell your friend, tell your friend to tell his friend, and then tell that friend to tell his mom. That'll work. All right, for this video, all you're gonna need is a water bottle, a toy car, Hot Wheels maybe, it doesn't really matter, some glue for the glue gun, and some batteries. These are just gonna be used as weights. So you could probably use anything else that's got a little bit of weight to it. Um, we're also going to need some destructive gear. This is the destructive we'll, we'll gear. We'll get into that later. A, a crowbar, a mallet, a saw, and then we got this air, air pump. pump. You're going to need an air pump. That's going to be the first step actually. We'll get into that now. First thing you want to do with the air pump. Get it out of the way. All right. Step two. You're going to want to take the water bottle, open you, it up. You're going to want to drink it. You're going to want to chug it. Give me a sec. <clears throat> that was a good one. Heavy weight. So you gotta you gotta chug it. All right. Now that we're done with that, what you're gonna get, what you're gonna want to do you is don't just need the bottom. you're just gonna get get rid of that. All you want. Screw you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all you want is the top. That's all you need. All right. Next. So we did all that for the top. All, next, all you need is this Hot Wheels car. You're gonna want to take the saw and the crowbar and the mallet. I'm gonna show y'all the objective here. We're trying to get that axle out of the Hot Wheels car. That's what we need. Is that axle right there? The axle that the wheels are on. Basically, that's basically, that's gonna take the place of the bearing. So yep. this is the way it's gonna no go. No problem. We're sawing it now. Now once you have a solid split in it, can you see that? I don't know if you can see it or not, but I sawed it in half. Almost wood in half. And you, after you have the solid split, you want to take the crowbar and just kind of like beat the crap out of it just like that a couple times. You know, that'll yeah, shatter everything. shattering it, yeah. Yep. And you want to take the crow of the, of the crowbar and bash in the, <laughs> the, uh, the hood of the car. Just bash it in a little bit, get it nice and broken. All right, let's see it. Warmed up. All right, so once your car, once your car looks like this, like it just got flattened in like a one of those demolition derbies. Yep. Once you once you look like you just came out of a demolition derby, you're gonna want to take the mallet to it. All right, so you're just gonna want to lay it back down and just smash the living crap out of it like that until you get everything just how you want it. And then by that final blow, everything should be falling apart. All right. Well, now the mallet always does the most work to it. You're gonna want to look at it now. You can't even tell it's a car. But the axle is what you need. So you're gonna you know, wanna get that out. You wanna pick up the pieces and we got the axle laying right here on the ground. One of them. You got a spare one with you? I have a spare one. Alright, just See? in case something goes. You just wanna wrong. take the, the glass of the windshield and you wanna throw that away. And then you're gonna take the car, the rest of the whole car, and you're gonna throw that away. And now all you need is this axle. You're gonna wanna take the wheel off somehow. We'll get to that in a minute though, because first we need to drill a hole in the cap. Alright, so basically all I did was I took a nail and I used a, just a little bit of force, it doesn't take much, and I poked a hole in the bottle cap. Uh, you can probably use anything to do this, maybe even a paper clip if that's what you need. Then you're going to want to get another bottle cap, put them both on there, and the result will be something like this. See how they're spinning? Now they don't spin very long because they don't have any weight on it. We haven't finished it yet. But we're going to take some electric tape and we're going to wrap it 
around like so. Like so. It spins, but it doesn't spin very long because it doesn't have weights yet. So that's where the hot glue gun is going to come in. All right, now you're going to want to take your three batteries and you're going to want to come over here to where you got your hot glue gun. And you want to put, you're going to want to put a little bit of hot glue on the flat part of your battery, like so. Just a dab. And then like a quick, dab quickly, quickly, you're going to want to stick it on to the side of your of your spinner like so before your hot glue dries because if you don't do a good job on this it won't stay you got your first battery hot glued on they sure that is way too nice much chill secure. no matter what they say just keep pumping glue it'll have the best result just trust me now hold that on hold it tight we're gonna let it dry you might want to blow it to speed up the process <laughs> I'm gonna lay this down. Keep blurry. All right, we're good. Get your second battery. I'll go ahead and put this. Put one the too. dab of glue on it. Dab a wrench, like a dab of wrench. And he's gonna go ahead and do that third one for y'all. So you get all three batteries. So just repeat the process for the other two batteries that you did for the first one. It's pretty simple. But now you can already see how it's coming out. It looks sort of like a spinner, I, right. I guess. Hold on, we're not done. But wait, there's more. We're going to wait for that to dry. So, while it dries, listen to our elevator music. Somebody's called me. Hello? Uh, yeah. Are you at your house? Yeah. yeah. Alright, So basically, you're just going to tape where the battery meets the bottle cap. Just to help secure it just a little bit when you're spinning it. And this is your final product. As you can see, it's a fidget spinner. Now, I have big hands. They're, they're huge. So this works for me very well because the batteries are so huge. long. But as like, I don't know how old you guys are. I don't know how big your hands are. I mean, it works good for me. You can use something else like a screw. See, that thing flies. And now, totally I, can use, I can be cruising down. 20,000. I could be cruising on the hoverboard, right? And I'm getting bored. Of course this one spins better like just slightly like they both don't spin that long his oh. is a little bit hard because it, it's fresh it's not broken in it's yet not, you gotta break in it's kinda, no, no, i mean it's not that bad but it's like burning my hand a little bit because from the hot glue because we didn't let it dry that very well but as you can see they're they're pretty well matched i mean like let me see this one considering you made it yourself with water bottles and batteries you know it's not that bad it's, it's household items versus like order online wait months yeah because i know like Places like eBay and Wish. I mean, they do the same thing. This one's a little bit bigger, obviously. And for fidgeting, it doesn't have to be bigger. Yeah, and for fidgeting, you know, you don't want it to spend all that long. You just want it. You just want to stop and go, and that's that's really what this one here does. It's all about. That's what it's all about. So there you have it. Hope y'all enjoyed. Where's the homemade? Easy. It didn't take us what ten minutes to do. Totally. Yeah. <coughs> all right. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it helped. Make sure Hope to like, spinning. comment, subscribe, tell Hope all your lit. friends. Is that it? All right. We're out. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs>